Hello everybody, my name is Roger Kalia and I'm looking forward to spending time in Nashua and conducting your wonderful orchestra, Symphony New Hampshire. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about the program that I'll be conducting on Saturday, January 26th with pianist Max Levinson. The program consists of some of my all-time favorite works in the repertoire, and there is a great deal of variety. Every section of the orchestra is featured and the orchestra has many moments to shine. We open the concert with Faure's Pavan, which is a work that is all about beauty of sound. Faure called the work unimportant, but this would prove to be his most popular orchestral work. The piece opens with a flute solo in the low register that gives the impression of a calmness and tranquility. The flute is answered first by oboe and clarinet, then by clarinet and bassoon, with gorgeous harmonies underneath. As a conductor, I love this work because it lets the musicians of the orchestra truly shine. There are wonderful solos in the woodwinds, as well as lovely melodies in the strings. We then feature guest artist Max Levinson in Mozart's Piano Concerto No. 21 in C major. This key was often the key of music with a majestic air. The first movement of this concerto has a march rhythm, and Mozart specifies that the allegro should be majestic. Not so much heavy majesty, but majesty worn with ease. The piano writing is full of ideas. There are moments of lightness, humor, exuberance. The second movement in F major is one of the glories of Mozart's output. Its fame was suddenly widened when it was used in the soundtrack of the 1967 Swedish film Elvira Madigan, and its association with the tragic love affair of the film has haunted it ever since. There is an operatic feel to the music, and you can hear this in the flowing line in the first violins, a line full of leaps and dramatic falls. The finale is pure comic opera. The orchestra begins with a humorous and light theme with the trumpets and timpani adding delicate touches of emphasis. Instead of reaching any sort of conclusion, the theme is rudely cut off and a pause announces the entry of the piano. The form is a rondo and there is a great deal of interplay between the piano and the orchestra in the spirit of playful banter. It's this simplicity that gives the whole movement a character of pure delight. I'm thrilled to introduce to Nashua a work titled Arava by the Polish composer Wojciech Kilar. He's considered the John Williams of Poland, and he is most famous for his film scores. The work Arava is for strings only, and it definitely has a cinematic feel to it, with its pulsating rhythms and unique harmonies. Orava is a region in south-central Poland bordering on Slovakia. The work suggests elements of nature and of the Polish highland folk music. There's this organic quality to it, and it starts off very quietly through repeated rhythms in a minimalist fashion and a gradual increase in dynamics and harmonic tension. The work explodes with energy and passion. The strings are asked to pluck their strings, use a variety of bowing techniques, and they even shout at the end of the piece, just as if they were members of a Polish Highland folk music ensemble. It's a fascinating work, and I'm sure you will enjoy it. And it really gives me great joy to conduct your wonderful orchestra and perhaps the most famous piece of classical mu music in existence, Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. Due to the sheer popularity of the piece, there are real challenges that I face as a conductor. What can I bring to this symphony to make it sound fresh and interesting? My goal as a conductor is to make this war horse sound like it's brand new music, like it's being performed for the very first time. Beethoven began his Fifth Symphony in 1804, and it was premiered in Vienna in December 1808 in the same concert as the premiere of his Sixth Symphony, the Pastoral. This symphony is a study in determination. Beethoven takes a motif consisting of four notes, ba -ba -ba -bom, and he constructs a whole movement out of it. There is less relaxation in this 30 minutes than virtually any piece of music. The impact is startling, and it seems to express a powerful spirit of endurance against the odds or triumph over adversity. The first movement opens with two statements of that motto theme, ba -ba -ba -bom, separated by a pause. Thus fate knocks at the door, Beethoven is supposed to have said. The entire movement is dominated by this motto, and it is very easy to take this movement for granted, well, because the music is so familiar. 
As a conductor, there are typically two ways to approach this theme. One way is to play the four notes fast, in strict tempo, and this has become very popular in modern performances. The other way is to play the four notes more freely, giving them tremendous weight, which you often hear in performances from an older generation. The second movement opens with a warm and lush melody in the cellos. It almost sounds like a slow dance in three. However, this calm and relaxing music is interrupted by the trumpets playing a martial tune that in its rhythm resembles a slow down version of the fate motto. As a conductor, I try my best to highlight this struggle between the two elements, the gentle dance in A flat and the fortissimo military theme in C. The scherzo, or third movement, opens mysteriously with a soft rising figure in the low strings, and the quiet is broken by yet another version of that fate motif, now played by the horns. At the end of the movement, a massive crescendo leads with outbreak into the finale. We go from minor to major, adversity to triumph, all of which is highlighted by the introduction of the trombones and piccolo, the very first time Beethoven used these instruments in a symphony. It's a magnificent work of great power and excitement, and as a trumpet player in high school, I had the opportunity to perform it with my local youth orchestra. It's also one of the first works that I ever conducted, so it's a special work for me personally. I'm very much looking forward to bringing it to, bringing it to life with your fabulous musicians of Symphony New Hampshire. Thank you for your time, and I can't wait to see you soon.